Hello and thanks for joining College 2 Consulting. Today's class is how to de demonstrate your industry experience even when you don't have any. Now I get a lot of students who when they start they say I don't know anything about this industry. I don't know anything about what this service is. How am I supposed to answer this case? And I say you know what the case is there for a reason and they don't expect students from college to really understand this very minute and niche industry or this this type of work but it's about how do you approach it so I'm gonna show you the tool that I give my students to approach these types of problems okay and here it is we've developed something called a company arsenal and this is what it is this is something that you can download from the site later and the company arsenal is essentially a list of five companies and these companies are companies that you get to pick any company you want but they have to be mutually exclusive in the industry meaning you cannot pick Apple and Google you cannot pick Apple and Microsoft you can pick Apple and I don't know Target you can pick Netflix and you can pick mm, Groupon you know you can do what you want but they have to be five companies in five different industries so you have the company you have the industry you have their products and then you have who their major competitors are and what I teach my students to do is I teach them to research these companies like crazy like you should be ready to trade stock with these companies because you know them in and out and this helps out a lot only five companies research them so well that you know them really really well and what it will do is it'll help you move around and you should be an able to answer these questions that are written on the bottom of this company arsenal so with any company you have you should be able to answer time out of time a company acquired or merged with another company and what was the result how would you have assessed a merger acquisition differently so through your research you should be able to say okay we had this company and they merged with this company and this is what happened okay or you should be able to say like United Airlines merged with Continental and it was a good merger on the back end but apparently with the with the audience and the the, the customers they weren't fond of what had happened okay why because it wasn't doing this this and this okay great second thing is tell me about a time a company adjusted its prices to increase total revenue An example would be Netflix when they just went from eight dollars a month subscription to nine dollars a month and what it does is it knocked down some people but it increased their revenue by X amount okay Great. Last one is tell me about a time a company invested in a major product that failed when it was released. Why did it fail? How much money was spent on the product? Example is Microsoft and they use uh, Windows XP or Windows Vista. It didn't do so hot because it got poor reviews and it just spread like wildfire. So X number of dollars spent on it. What they did was they rebranded it essentially as Windows XP and it did much better. Funny. But what I'm doing is I have five different companies that I can use to answer these types of questions. Okay. So download this sheet, seriously do the research, answer it, and put numbers in for your answers to these questions. So when you do get in the situation where you don't know the industry or the service line, the company arsenal will help you out and it will help you bring the knowledge down to your level. You're, you might have a service area of knowledge and you might have the industry knowledge. And what I always imagine is I imagine four quadrants of where you know very little and where you know a lot. So you might be in this terrible terrible situation where you know little about the service and you know little about the industry if you are in the situation what you need to do is you need to relate the problem to a problem to a similar problem in an industry or one of the companies that you know about so if you get a question about you know pricing about pricing in oil and you have no clue about how to do any of those think about pricing essentially okay well we talked about how Netflix had to increase their prices so similar situation with Netflix I do this and just relate it back also break down the problem and think about how it impacts business why is this important why why is this even an issue okay the reason why pricing is an issue is because we need more revenue because our costs are too high right now okay great but if you can relate it back to that type of company and the type of service that you read about it will help you transfer your skill set a little bit more now let's say you're in this situation where you really know about the service but you don't know anything about the company or the industry at all focus on the service just hit it really really hard and discuss how relevant the service is to any industry so for instance let's say we're talking about pricing and you are a whiz with pricing but you don't know anything about oil you say well you know what I don't know anything about oil but I do know how pricing works and we do know about elasticity and if we do too much there's gonna be a situation where people are gonna walk away that's in any thing right if we increase prices too much people are just gonna walk away 
So what we can do is we could do X, Y, Z. And there you go. You just apply what you know about that service in area to whatever industry you're getting impacted with. Next is let's say the reverse. You don't know anything about the service, but you know a lot about the industry. Well, let's say you get this question about, um, let's say merged and acquisitions. You don't know anything about merged and acquisitions, but you know a lot about the oil industry. Well, focus on the problem and then break it down and use your knowledge of the industry if you feel that you don't know what you're doing at all. So an example is, let's say we have two companies that are in the oil industry and they want to merge. And you say, oh man, I don't know anything about merged and acquisition. I don't know what to look at at all, but I do know about the oil industry. And I know that these are big, big, big behemoths and there aren't that many players in it. So what we can do is if they were to merge, they would probably have a huge market share, bigger than anyone else, because there are just so few players. And then when you can go from there, but you're using your knowledge of from the company arsenal of your industry to kind of move your answer around. And last one is you are just amazing. You know the industry well and you know the service well. Talk about the competitors in the industry and discuss any white papers or relevant experience you have in that area. Okay, that one you should be able to knock it out. So what I would suggest is to download our company arsenal to really have a go at it and to seriously take it, take it seriously and write out the five companies that you have in five mutually exclusive industries, what the products are, who the competitors are, and answer the question that you have. You will... The more you put into it, the better you'll be to land these um, interviews and to finish and to get an offer. Okay, thanks.